Before we look at verse 4, here's a question for you. What do we normally do when we see somebody begging? More likely than not, we'll look away. All right? We'll look away. See, the human heart, we don't, we don't want to see somebody suffering hurts. And this man was used to people looking at him. Can't you see him? Can't you see him trying to get somebody's attention? Can't you? This is his mode of life. This is his life. This is his survival. You can see him trying to look, trying to catch somebody's attention. Please look at me. I need money. Please take pity on me. And they've seen him every day, daily. And, and he's probably, uh, they were used to him. And they were used to walking past him and not looking at him. Look at verse 4. Peter, fastening his eyes upon him, said, look at us. You get that? Don't miss the importance. Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John. This means that Peter and John didn't turn away. They didn't look away from him. They looked him straight in the face. And what they did was they looked suffering straight in the face. A thing that we don't like to do as humans. They looked suffering straight in the eye. And the Christian church was never meant to be a holy huddle. The Christian church was never meant to be us four and no more. The Christian church is meant to get out beyond the four walls and to look suffering in the eye. Not to look away from it and pretend it's not there. But to get out there and to look it straight in the eyes. Why? 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 Because why? Now this is important. We may not have all the answers about suffering. You get that? We can't pretend that we know all the answers. Somebody who's suffering. We don't have all the answers. We don't have all the answers about suffering. But we have the answer for suffering. Get that? We have the answer for suffering. And his name is Jesus. 